Hello and welcome students. This question is from gate 2019 and is for two marks. So I'll first read out the question, then we are going to solve it. The statement says, consider a three, four variable functions, f1, f2 and f3, which are expressed in sum of min terms as. Just have a look at these three functions. For the following circuit with one AND gate and one XOR gate, the output function f can be expressed as. So they have given you four options as well as a diagram of the circuit. Okay, so I've drawn this circuit here. You can see there is an AND gate and an XOR gate. Also, the three inputs are f1, f2 and f3. These functions are four variable functions. Okay, that means they are dependent on four variables, might be A, B, or C and D, okay, anything. Now, let's find out the output of this circuit. For that, let's analyze this AND gate first. AND will output one when both of its inputs are high. Let's see in which case both of these inputs are high. You can see F1 and F2, F1, F2, they are high on 2, 8 as well as 14. Except for these three inputs, there is no other input for which both F1 and F2 are high at same time. Okay, that means AND will output 1 in these three cases, that is 2, 8 and 14. So the SOP form of this output is summation 2, 8 and 14. That means we have 1 or high at this point only on these two or these three inputs. Okay. Now let's solve this XOR gate. F3 is 2, 7, 11 and 14. Let me write it here. 2, 7, 11 and 14. So you need to perform XOR of these two functions. XOR gate will output high when exactly one of its input is high. Okay, let's write down the truth table here. You can see XOR gate will output high when exactly one of its input is on and the other input is off. Okay, if both are off, it's zero. If both are on in that case, in that case also, it's zero. That means on two, you can see both the inputs are high. So output will be zero in case of two. Let's see in case of eight, what is going to happen. In case of eight, when this input to all these three functions on eight is eight, in that case, you will get a one here because F1 and F2 both are high on eight. So you will get a 1 here and you will get a 0 here because this function will not output a 1. Okay. So exactly one of the input to this XOR gate is high. That means in its output, you will surely have 8. Okay. This will output high in case of input is equal to 8. What do I mean by saying input is equal to 8? That means 8 is given as an input to all these three functions. Okay. So let's see what will happen in case of 14. 14 is here as well as here. So output will be 0 on 14. Because on 14 this will be 1 as well as this will also be 1. And 1, 1 is 0. Okay. So next one is 7 and 11. In case of 7 as well as 11, only this wire will contain a positive voltage. Here you are going to have 0. Okay, let's analyze how it is zero. Say all these three functions are given the input seven. Okay. On seven, you can see F1 will not provide output. So this wire will contain zero. F2 will also not provide output. So this wire will also be zero. Zero and zero is zero. Okay. But F3 will provide a output. So this wire will be one. 0 XOR 1 is 1. That means 7 is going to be present in output. Similarly, 11 will also be present in the output. What else? Yeah, I think that's all. 
so your output is 8 7 and 11 now you might think we have considered only these numbers that is 2 8 14 7 and 11 what about the other numbers that are missing here let's consider one of those also say 6 okay 6 is not present in this as well as 6 is not present in this that means both of the input functions will provide a 0 on 6 okay so both of the lines will be 0 on 6 and you can see 0 0 is 0 so output will surely be low on 0 output low on 6 and output being low means that will not be included as a min term in summation form or in the SOP form okay